Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install texture packs on Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.11.x on Android. So what the point .x thing means is just any version of 0.11 that comes out, whether it be 0.11.0, 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, whatever. Uh, currently the latest version is 0.11.1, so I'm going to be demonstrating with that version, but if you have a newer or even older version of that, it still uh, applies and it will work with this video. So you're going to need two apps. You're going to need MCPE Mod Locator and MCPE Texture Pack Installer. You can download both of those from the description. If you've had either of these apps before from the Google Play Store, if that's where you got it, go ahead and uninstall that version because it no longer is updated because Google has terminated my developer account. I'm not going to get into it. I've made a million videos on it before. But yeah, you have to get the ones from the, from the description. Those are just two APK files. Just download them and install them. No root or anything required. It just will work. And then once you have them installed, you'll have MCPE Mod Locator, which looks like that, and MCPE Texture Pack Installer, which looks like this. So let's go ahead and start with MCPE Mod Locator and just look at some of the texture packs. So we have textures, 0.11.x textures, and then uh, here we have a list of different texture packs for 0.11.x. Let's go ahead and try Xenocraft. I think I've done this one before. Yeah, I'm just going to hit download. All right, so generally it will immediately go to that little dialog that says installing texture pack, please wait. So it does take a little bit for the first time, and then after that it still you know, has to go to this loading screen, but it doesn't take as long after the first time of installing. Because the first time it's got to download necessary files and extract them and get them where they need to be for it to work. Um, but after that, or actually it still does that if you change your version of Minecraft as well. So if you update, it will have to re-download files, but uh, you know right now it's already downloaded so there we go so do you want to uninstall this app click yes and then click install and there click done so now it says your texture pack has been installed correct or successfully would you like to add this to your quick switch list quick switch is a part of mcpe texture pack installer and it makes it switching between texture packs very fast select yes to add it now click yes and that'll add it to your quick switch list which basically is your favorites list more than anything where you can add texture packs that you like to use a lot and then you can switch between them very quickly so you just click on it and it's ready to go i'll show that here in a second so I'm going to go and try out the texture pack now and see what we get. And there you can see that texture pack has been installed. And I actually do like uh, this texture pack, Xenocraft. Although it's, I don't know what it is, but when I would use it on my tablet, even when I'm not recording, this texture pack is just really laggy. I didn't think it was a very high resolution pack, but it must be. So going back to the quick switch thing, there's two ways to access quick switch. So first one is to open up MCPE texture pack installer directly, click, uh, click on quick switch, and then you can see we have uh, two different things here. There's canter lot up top and then Xeno on bottom, and it shows the version that it's for and then the name of it as well. So let's click on Xeno, and you can either delete it or click install here. And then it says, do you want to uninstall this app? You see, I, I was just instant instead of uh, having to sit there and wait for it to load. Also, the other way to access that is to click on Xenocraft, download inside of MCPE Mod Locator, and here you can see it says, you have this texture pack saved in your quick switch list. You, to make this install faster, select install. To proceed with downloading, select download. Click install, and it's immediate. Just like that. So that's how the quick switch thing works, and um, yeah, it just makes everything a lot quicker for uh, your favorite texture packs more than anything. So also another thing to point out is that some people reported that they did lose their worlds. So I've made it so every single time you install a texture pack, it will back your worlds up. And to prove it, I'm going to open up ES File Explorer. Go ahead, games. And I'm going to completely delete my com.mojang folder, which has all my worlds, skins, settings, everything. I'm going to go to MCPE Texture Pack Installer, hit Restore Worlds, hit Restore. And it says all your worlds have been restored go back and you can see my com.mojang folder is here and there are my worlds and I can even go back and play on the worlds like so so yeah it does do that just in case people do lose their worlds because apparently that was an issue I never lost my worlds installing stuff so I don't know exactly what happened there but just to make sure you guys do not lose your worlds I have added that in an MCPE mod locator there's a restore worlds button at the very top as well and then there's also ways to go back to the original textures as well. So you have default textures here in MCPE Mod Locator, 
And then in the MCPE Texture Pack installer, you have uh, revert, to t revert to default right here. Click on that. Just give it a second to load. And then uninstall, install. And then when we open it back up, we're back to the default MCPE textures. So, you know, if that's something you want, then you can go back to them just like that. Um, what else should I show? Oh yeah, I don't actually have a way to show this right now, but you can install texture packs um, through here. You click on that and it brings you to uh, this thing here. And then you can see all the different folders and stuff on your phone. And then if you have a texture pack that you downloaded from the internet, uh, you can install it from here. And this process does take a little bit longer because since all texture packs are different, it has to scan and get some folders corrected just in case uh, it's a different format than uh, what uh, MCPE Mod Locator downloads. So because when MCPE Mod Locator downloads it, uh, I have it set so all the texture packs are, uh, you know, they are all the same really, the way they're set up. And structured but they're always structured different when you download them from the internet so it has to scan through it and correct folders and stuff like that so this process does take a little bit longer but quick switch still does work with it so if you, if you only install it want to install it once and then add it to quick switch you can do that and it will be instant and it also does back up your worlds in that process too so you don't have to worry about losing your worlds when you use that feature other than that that's just about it um, there's nothing really else to go over so that is MCPE texture pack installer and how to install mods on MCPE, uh, or not how to install mods, how to install texture packs on MCPE. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any problems, just leave your comments down below. And if you have any other recommendations for MCPE texture pack installer, just leave your comments down below. And hopefully I can uh, maybe add those features if a lot of people like them and I think it's a good idea. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.